What up guys, The Fighting Therapist here, and for today's video, I got you guys a recipe. A little change from all the videos that have been coming out, but I thought we'd switch things up and go a little Asian, and we're gonna make some Pad Thai uh, tofu. Of course, vegan, why not? Before we jump to the video guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, don't forget to click that notification bell, and if you did like the video, or just do it right now, give it a like, alright? We, we, we're, we're growing as a family, I want to keep growing, so hit that like button. To start things off, you're going to want to cut and drain your tofu, right? Unless you've got extreme firm tofu that doesn't have enough liquid inside, that is okay. But for the majority of it, you want to try to squeeze out as much liquid as you can and you want it to cut into little cube pieces. So I pretty much took the tofu that I had, I cut it into three and then I chopped them all into little cube pieces. Makes it a lot easier when you guys are actually cooking the tofu so that you can get it a little bit more crispy and crunchier when you're actually going to add it into the pad thai recipe. Um, I don't use any oil when I'm cooking. So for this one, I just put the tofu on the pan on a medium heat. Um, if I feel like the tofu is getting stuck onto the pan, I add a little bit of water, but that's about it, just to allow it to get a little bit more brown. So as you can see in the video, we're getting a little bit more brown textures, getting a little nice golden color. That's exactly what we want when it comes to the tofu. When you're done, you're gonna take all the tofu out of the pan and you're gonna start adding in all the other yummy goodness that's gonna come in this recipe. We were keeping it low calories, so I stuck to cognac noodles. They're pretty much like these zero to 10 calorie noodles that I have. So as you can see on the package for like the whole thing, it was 10 calories per serving. There's roughly three servings in the whole package. So we used two of those because I made some for me, my girlfriend and my dad. Then we got a little bit of some sprouts, some cabbage. We got some green beans. We got, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, oh oh we got some mushrooms, we got some broccoli and we're gonna make all of that into the pan. When it comes to the veggies, you guys don't need to be specific. You can pretty much take whatever you guys want to add in your pad thai. It's your pad thai. So make like, you know, whatever you want in your pad thai. When that's all done, you're going to make a little, little sauce. Uh, I took this recipe from another book, but I switched it up a little bit. So you're going to take uh, some tomato paste. This is just going to give it a nice thickness to the, the sauce itself. You're going to take a little bit of some spices and a little bit of some sugar. Now, I'm not a big fan on zero calorie sugar, so I use date sugar, uh, more fiber, it's a lot healthier for you. And then I took a little bit of some soy sauce type of mix to give it that color. And I think I spiced it up with a little bit of some paprika, garlic, and onion powder. And that was pretty much it for the, for the whole thing, right? Then when we're gonna put the veggies into the mix, this is where you're gonna wanna add a little bit of oil. Okay guys, just a little bit. We're talking about like half a tablespoon here. I used avocado oil. It's a lot healthier for you and it has a higher rate when it comes to destroying the actual molecule of the fat. So you can actually cook it a lot higher in temperature before destroying it and making a process really not good for you. Once that cooks and you see the veggies are getting in the texture that you guys want, a lot of people like it soft, a lot of people like it a little bit more crunchier. You're gonna add your noodles inside, you're gonna cook that for a little bit more, and then you're just gonna add the sauce right on top of that yummy goodness. If you want more sauce, put more. If you want less, you want less. There's no rules in the kitchen. There's no rules, it's so simple. As Greg Doucette says, so do whatever the hell you want. Make it yummy, make it delicious for you. If you think it's missing a little something, add a little bit of salt. I find sometimes all it needs is a little bit of salt. Just to make it that much better. Once that's done, you're gonna serve yourself up a platter. You're gonna make some for your loved ones because you gotta fill up their tummies too when we're eating together. Then you're gonna sit down at a table. You're gonna have a great family dinner. And you're gonna enjoy the Pad Thai recipe, Asian cuisine style, vegan, plant-based. I thought it was yummy. Girlfriend thought it was yummy. Dad definitely thought it was yummy, but he pretty much eats like anything, anytime. So, you know, we really never know with dad. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was something that changed up, gave you guys a recipe. I got two more coming out. We're gonna have a burger recipe that I posted in the past, but I switched up the ingredients just to make the burger a little bit more thick, a little bit, a um, little bit more thick with two C's. Damn boy, he's thick! Or three C's. 
I think Greg said three C's, but people have been saying two C's. I'm gonna go with three C's. Thick with three C's. And then you're also gonna have a delicious, low calorie, high protein, friendly uh, cookie. You guys can make it into a cookie, you can make it into a muffin. It really doesn't change how you make it. The ingredients are pretty much gonna be the same. And then whatever you have to actually put the batter inside is gonna be the shape that you have. So I had none that day, so I pretty much just made cookies. But you guys can make pretty much anything you want. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy, that's Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. You guys not gonna see it today because it's under the table. Peace.